Hi and welcome to the review of Inform Luciano Narsing. He has a medium attacking work rate and a medium defensive work rate. He has a 3 star weak foot and he's got 4 star skills. So looking at his in games, his standouts are his 96 acceleration, 95 sprint speed, 86 agility and 84 crossing. We've also included the gains from his non-inform as well. So this is the team we use now singing. We went all attack and we used the 3-4-2-1 area divisi team. And we played with Narsing up top at right forward. So now on to we felt about Narsing. And straight away it's all about his pace, pace, pace. He's got 96 acceleration and 95 sprint speed. But unlike some other players, Narsing actually does live up to the uh, pace stats. He did feel electric and he was constantly outpacing all the defenders he come up against. As you can see in a lot of these clips, he's burning away even from behind. He catches up and overtakes the defenders. He's quite possibly one of the fastest I've ever used on FIFA 14. He has got good agility and dribbling as well. And when you add in his 4 star skills, it makes him a great threat up top on the right wing. Sometimes when you buy a player and just click, that is uh, what exactly what I have with Narsing. I just couldn't believe how good he actually was. Totally surprised. Was not expecting it for a 78 rated gold. I absolutely love using him. Despite his average shooting stats, he was finishing everything we put in front of him. Even on his 3 star weak foot as well. It definitely did not feel like a 3 star. It's like you know sometimes when you get an inform and they just feel amazing. Sometimes you get them they feel totally broken. Uh, this is the way it was with Narsing. Everything just felt perfect with him. I was shocked how good his left foot finishing was. As you can see we get quite a few of his left foot. He actually finishes more with his left than his right. He also does have decent crossing as well. So you do have the option uh, for him to play a wider role. And exploit his pace and get the crosses in. The only slight downside in Narsing is his medium attacking work rate. I'd much prefer him to be a high attacking work rate to make more of those runs. But you can't have everything. So I do suggest you can either play him in wide in a 3-5-2 or a 4-3-3. He'll be up that wing, get outpacing the defense, left backs, right backs, getting into that position for crosses. So let's have a look at Narsing's performance stats. So in 10 games we scored 11 goals and got 3 assists. All of his stats are down the left hand side there and his goal stats are on the right. Also in the bottom right there was a position map which shows his goals and his assists. You can always pause the video if you want a closer look at these as well. So overall we're giving Narsing a 9.4 out of 10. He's got a blistering pace and will work perfectly with the Memphis Depay on the left hand side. If you get him on the left and Narsing on the right, you're going to be causing a lot of trouble for the teams. So it worked great for a Dutch team as well if you want to make him a Dutch team as an understudy to Robin. But uh, for me, he equaled Robin in performance wise for me. Uh, just depends how you manage with his weaker foot. But you say, as for me, everything just seemed to click and work perfectly for me. Hopefully, if you buy him, that'll be the case for yourselves as well. So, finally, on to his positives and negatives. His positives are, as we said, his pace, both acceleration and sprint speed are really, really good. He's got good agility as well to match. He's got his four star skills, so it's good for skilling, getting into them positions in the box. And, of course, he's crossing as well. Using his speed, getting down the wing, whip the crosses in. Only negatives, this is personally for me, I worry his work rates really, his medium medium isn't the best. I prefer to it to be higher medium at least. So there you go, highly recommend it, give him a go. He's only roughly around 20k, we picked him up for 20k on Wednesday night, so he'd probably be even going down to around 15, around 12 if you're lucky. So I highly recommend it, go and give him a try in your area of visit or Dutch teams. So thanks a lot for watching lads, stay tuned for more stuff, we're just getting some FIFA 14 videos up, warming up FIFA 15, when that comes out we're going to be doing tons of reviews, tons of squad builders, so leave a like if you did enjoy the video and subscribe if you're new, so thanks a lot lads, cheers.